What's going on guys and welcome back to what is another episode of Hashtag Trip Loomer, otherwise known as Mount Monday and holy flip moly, it's a, I know it's a Monday, we're all tired, we're all thinking and oh, can we just get this over and done with, my Monday is just, you know, it's an all time low, I feel like Garfield right now, hold the phone, I think you know what we need, a dance party, we haven't done one of those in a while, let's get this week started with the world's best and worst moves of the dance, let's do it, what's with ya? Okay, now I just remember why we don't start with those. That takes so much energy. Oh, holy foot moly, guys. Uh, I don't even know what to say right now. I am entirely speechless. Literally, when the post lady brought this thing out, I think I passed out the post office. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I think we have the world's best hashtag triple M box of all time. This is so good, I don't even want to open it, but I kind of do because what could possibly be inside of the best TCG packet? Look at this thing. It's a massive EX box. Like, this thing is like ridiculously huge to start with. What does it say? O open here. Alright, we'll keep that one in mind. We've got all the arrows. But yeah, TCG like cards everywhere and they range from like fake cards to the original base set ones which we got in the back there as well. It literally makes my week when I see this at the post office. And this like, oh, it just blew me away. So without further ado, let, what do you think is going to be inside of it? Link comment in comment section blue. What do you reckon? Oh, there's, there's so much sticky tape on this as well. After like five years of battling, I think we got the opening. What the heck is that? First off here, it looks like we've got, oh, that's like super a bit dirty, but it's an adventure time, it kind of looks like a nappy, I know, like, it's not. It's one of those adventure time, like, fit hats, oh my gosh. So like, weirdly enough, I think it's majority of like drawings and stuff, but there is the weird plastic red folder. So what's inside of the weird plastic red folder? Holy flip, he knows your boy doesn't do that much reading. We've got two official Pokemon handbook guides there. Thank you so much for those ones. And they actually look pretty old. This one's like back from the Master Quest days. That's absolutely hashtag cray. Then we got a folder of fake uh, Pokemon cards there. Like, they're not the real ones. They're the uh, half bar ones. They look pretty cool. So have a look at those in a second. And then inside of the absolutely massive box that is absolutely hashtag cray, we've got a fat pen. But whoa, hold the phone. It's not just any pen. It's a multicolored one. Look, it's even got brown. And it's got orange, green, red, purple, yellow, blue. What the fuck? Flip, this is the greatest pen of all time. Well, that's definitely a sentence I never thought I'd say hashtag triple M. Thanks for the pen. Well, I think this guy literally wins the most talented drawing award. Every single one he sent is absolutely hashtag great. I love it so much. This would have legitimately took so long to make, but it's the unlisted leaf logo with barcodes around it. Are you kidding me? And like my favorite Pokemon all around the edges here. I love those ones. No way. Don't let you it says, what's going on, Endo? Your videos are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, man. You are the best YouTuber I've ever seen. Now, come on, I'm probably not the best YouTuber you've ever seen. I love to draw Pokemon, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to send you something that you can put at the wall of back. I will definitely put those wall of back, dude. They are absolutely hashtag great. Hopefully, you enjoyed the box and everything else I sent you, all the way from yours truly. Ellie and Chelly. Is it Chelly? It's probably not, but that sounds really awesome if it's Ellie and Chelly, so thank you so much, guys. P.S. We've attached an alien doll and pulled the legs. They've attached an alien doll and you have to pull- are you kidding me? I found the alien, but it says pull the legs. What- oh gosh, what's gonna happen? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh. It's literally like you tug on the legs and the head lights up. I thought you'd have to rip them off or something. There we go. Isn't that just the craziest invention of all time? Yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside. The folder of fake Pokemon cards and other stuff. Let's do it. Thank you so much for the awesome package though. That was a pretty cool box. So uh, this is the binder of good cards, and I guess you can't really see I'm doing it, but like I put in apostrophes just because I think he meant the best fake cards that he's ever pulled. But whenever I go to like buy fake Pokemon boost packs, I know about you, but I always pull like sort of the half arts. They seem to be so common in the fake Pokemon realm, all the full arts as well, and I think that's what's happened here. But nevertheless, we managed to finish things off with the old school promo Mewtwo. So next up here we've got a bright yellow EX style envelope all the way from good old Canada, Canada, Canada land? No, ca Canada or Canada. <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah. But anyway, let's get this bamboo open and check out the amount of stick. Like, this guy did not want this open. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's see if Mr. Stanley can break it open. Not a problem at all, my... What? Dude. False alarm, false alarm. It's not an iPod touch. It's just the iPod touch flipping case here. Oh my gosh. Every time. <laughs> then we've got custom made. Pimped out sunglasses. You guys know I love my sunglasses. And these ones seem to be like the official unlisted leaf shades. Let's put... Oh. Whoa! I can see clearly now a rainbow. <clears throat> <clears throat> These things are definitely uh, swag glasses. Then it looks like we got a whole bunch of different cards and they like sort of Pokemon card binder. Then we got a Zekrom and a Reshiram on that bad boy. Have a look at those ones in a sec, but then I think there's more. No way, we actually have probably one of the coolest like letters of all time here. It is covered in Pokemon stickers, like these are old school limited edition ones. And then when you open it up, 
It's a no and a drawing all the way down the sleeve. That is so epic, let's read it out. Dear in the sleeve, my name is Theo. What's up, Theo? I'm 11 years old, all the way from Vancouver, Canada. That is so cool. Is anyone else from Vancouver? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Absolutely love your videos. Please keep up the amazing work and don't forget to keep on gaming. P.S. I'm sorry if you fell for the iPod. Hmm. <laughs> Theo, why would I fall for the iPod? It's only just a sealed iPod. But anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at all these different Pokemon cards sent us in HD. Let's take a look. So literally inside the good old Reshiram and uh, what was it, Zekron Binder, there was a whole bunch of different random cards, which is pretty cool. It consists of like a bunch of energies and a bunch of reverse cards. Thanks a bunch. Okay, so the very next page here is actually an EX style, like yellow style envelope, but on the back here, it literally is the coolest thing of all time because we've got moustache tape. Okay, the very first thing is, oh my... Dude, this is the greatest gift of all time. It's the boys. We've got, we've got the boys, guys. Oh my, it's oh. I mean, seriously, can we even hang this up anymore? The traitor is on this. It's Zane. He left the. Look at his face. What do you reckon? Do you think it could like just replace Pikachu at the back here? Just have them. Where do you get these uh, massive posters from? Now we've got a frozen one as well. Do you want to build a snowman? No, Harry Styles. You can't build a snowman. Sorry, he just likes to sing. But yeah, oh my gosh. We've got all the bays in one room. Then we've got farm foods. Oh my, what the heck is farm foods? It looks like it is a catalogue of all different types of farm foods. Are you kidding? You have Ben and Jerry's for $1.95. Where on planet Earth are you living right now? I need to move there. Ben and Jerry's for a dollar. It's like $11 a tub in Australia. <laughs> and then check this thing out. Let's cut away to this thing for a second because it is just, whoo, it's great. And then I know what you're thinking, Andrew, this possibly could not get any weirder. How about a relationship between Mr. Stanley and Magikarp? No, seriously, other lady here, it's got what's going on, Andrew, it's Joe here. I just want to say, if you put my drawing at the wall of the back, I will literally burst into flames. Anyway, please enjoy the rest of the stuff, keep up the great videos, all the way to yours truly, Joe. I mean, come on now, Joe, you, you cannot, like, not enjoy this package, it's fantastic. Okay, so the very last package we've got in today's episode of Hashtag Triple M, it's this magical white EX box. And I'm 99% sure it is the Ellen Gaming box, which, uh, that's a, like, website, and they always send me a whole bunch of stuff every month, so without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside the magical EX white box. Let's do it. I think I managed to get the uh, good old white box open, let me show you guys first what is inside of this magical box of goodie. What the heck is that? Holy flipper moly, we have a mug. I repeat, we have a drinking mug. Like, holy flipper moly, I'm not even kidding. This is a bad boy ceramic mug. Let me get out of this box, but that looks so sick. You know, I think it's gone to the point where everyone just knows they have a coffee addiction and they want to send me different stuff, but look, we've got Ash on that side and Pikachu on this amazing mug. Definitely drink my coffee out of that one tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. Then we've got Flumes, I'm pretty sure. Is that like a candy bar? It seems like super, super squishy. Should we try it out? I think we need to. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. It is literally like a bit of marshmallow. I mean, hey, what do you know? It tastes exactly like marshmallow. I kind of feel like I'm in a sugar coma right now. But then we've also got a, uh, looks like a custom Pokemon calendar. So yeah, pretty much they've got like screenshots of the Pokemon anime and then we've got the calendar there. Really, really cool, like, idea. I'll definitely use that one, put that to use. You can never have too many calendars, which is what my parents always say, and that's why I get, like, six of them for Christmas each year. I don't know why. I always get calendars for Christmas. What the heck is that? Oh, my gosh. Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. This is actually a limited edition blind bag all the way from the Pokemon the Movie 2000 promotion days. And if you don't know, that was, what, that, what, what was that, 16 years ago? But this is a two Pokemon the Movie 2000 Burger King blind bag. But oh my, should we even open it? I feel bad if we do. But I kind of think we should because we got given it. Oh my gosh. How is something even like sealed for this long? That is crazy. You know what? Let's take a hasty look at this thing. And uh, they also sent a breakthrough boost back. And I think we'll go open both of these. But you, what the heck, that's absolutely hashtag cray. Thank you so much, LMEGaming.com. You guys always send the coolest stuff to me every month, but oh my gosh. Let's have a look. Okay, so inside the Burger King equivalent of a Happy Meal blind bag here, we've got potentially any type of water type Pokemon, but we managed to pull a Lapras. Now I know you're thinking, Andrew, what the heck am I looking at right there? It literally looks like a 2D, like 3D sort of painting. It turns out this is the most mechanically advanced blind bag you've ever seen ever. So you fill a cup with water, you put your whatever the heck that thing is in a cup of water, press down on the lever a couple times, you put it in its little wave, and it fires water. Fire! 
Oh my gosh, I know, you think, you know, technology's advanced so, I don't know, sort of decreased a bit. I mean, we don't get Happy Meals like that anymore. They were, oh my gosh, that was so hashtag great. But yeah, we also got a breakthrough boost back, but unfortunately, the final card was none other than a regular rare. Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's episode of Hashtag Triple M, otherwise known as Mail Monday. And if you think yourself, Andrew, I'd love to send something in for Hashtag Triple M. You can send it to the PO box in the description below. But make sure you do take a picture of it before you send it, because unfortunately, I can't send it back. But most of all, this, guys, we do have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of the week, because it's only Monday. But most of all, you gotta keep on gaming! Alright, guys, I'll see you then.